Hi folks, I'm Sohan on Android.com where we get hot on Android every day. Anyway, today we'll be looking at the Resurrection Remix ROM. Uh, it is a custom AOSP ROM. Uh, it is Lollipop Android 5.0.2. Uh, if you're looking for a good Lollipop ROM that's AOSP, um, definitely check this one out. Um, this one is going to give you all the features uh, of like CM12 plus a little bit more customization. Um, so pretty good ROM, very good battery life. Let's go take a look real quick. Let's go do this, baby. All right, folks, so let me go ahead and show you the Resurrection Remix ROM here. I've got on my T-Mobile G3. Installation is pretty easy. Just go ahead and use Twerp. Um, go ahead and follow my universal installation guide. Uh, make sure you format system. And this will give you the full Lollipop Android 5.0.2, the latest uh, 5.0.2 there. Uh, Resurrection Remix, so looking very good. Now, Resurrection Remix was one of my favorite ROMs uh, with uh, the Galaxy S2 because uh, it was a really cool ROM with a ton of customization. Now, this one is doesn't have as much customization yet. Uh, we're probably starting, we're still in the starting stages, but uh, as we go along, we'll probably find more. Now, if you want to do some customizations with this one, you can go ahead and go to Settings and go to Resurrection Tools. And if you go to interface and status bar, you can go ahead and enable the brightness control, which is basically using your status bar uh, to change your brightness. That works great when you go to like uh, really dark bars and stuff and you want to manually adjust it. I'll show notification count, uh, show weather, um, also quick pull down, smart pull down, uh, even network traffic if you want it, uh, it's down here. So you, you see I have uh, network traffic in and out. Um, also, you can go ahead and change the navigation bar height um, to make your screen bigger. And also you can even make it disappear. For example, if you use like a Pi controls uh, from the right, then you can ha uh, basically make that zero. And navigation bar width, uh, you can also change. And here we go. And something else you can do under interface, sorry. Uh, miscellaneous um, so you can do some different animations which is really cool one of the cool things about Resurrection Remix uh, let's try Honami and you'll be able to see some of the animations that I've just changed as uh, we go along here uh, for lock screen you can go ahead and your uh, add in your favorite shortcuts all of your apps um, you know all of your stuff and this will appear here in your lock screen so you can go ahead and hold down uh, the shortcuts and it will take you to the shortcut. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of these uh, features here. Buttons, you can go ahead and enable the power button to end calls, which can be handy. I mean, one of the cool things about this phone is that you can go ahead and hold it like this. I mean, I love that feature. That's That feature should be, you know, on every phone, seriously. Um, other than that, it's, it's a really fast ROM. You'll get the uh, full lollipop experience um, all the notification all the good stuff with uh, lollipop uh, you know along with the customizations I've showed you as far as camera it's actually works pretty well and let me go ahead and show you with the subject here um, works just fine it's a little bit slow sometimes I notice that's uh, that's the only bad part about it. see there's a slight delay whereas with the LG the regular stock camera you'll get much faster performance uh, the laser focus still works it's still working I don't know it's my my camera is picking up but uh, it, it does work just fine um, so camera works just fine and the video recording also works just fine there we go and there is a resolution of a maximum of 1080p for the back camera so you do lose 4K video recording. Uh, other than that, you shouldn't find any bugs. It's a very solid ROM. If you're looking for a good uh, Lollipop ROM right now and uh, you want to install on your G3, go ahead and try this and do let me know what you think. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, it's a pretty cool ROM. Definitely try it out if you have a T-Mobile G3 or if you have the International D855. Uh, it's not available for AT&T Sprint or Verizon yet, uh, maybe in the future. Uh, but for right now, definitely try it out and do let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and stay on Android.